Now today is Wednesday the 15th of June 2022. So what's special about today then? Well for some of you it could be your birthday, so happy birthday if it is, and others it could be an anniversary, good or bad. So if you're having an anniversary, let's hope it's a good one. But for the building trade, it's a big day today because it is the start day of the new part L of the building regulations. So with these changes, especially for gas engineers, there is loads more work we're now going to have to do. So today's video is hopefully going to introduce us to a product that's going to make it a little bit quicker and a little bit easier for us to do our job. So today's video we're going to be looking at Scale Masters Eye Test. Not testing your eyes, testing inhibitor for inhibitor. So they reckon it's going to take five minutes and they also say they are the only ones what can test for all of the major inhibitors. So let's get on with it and find out what's in this box and what we need to do. Now first of all I would like to thank Dr Carl Jasper who is actually the owner of Scalemaster and part inventor I think of this eye test for actually coming on site and meeting me, giving me this for free and uh, showing me how to use it. So Scalemaster aren't sponsoring this video but they did give me this for free and give me a really good demonstration and I had a great chat with the good doctor. So now we can get on with it. As you can see on the front of the box it says it works with all leading chemical inhibitors and the test is going to take us like I said in less than five minutes. If we flick the box over you can see it actually gives us six processes to do and we're going to need to download an app. So if we flick it on the side you can see we can get the app from the App Store or we can get it from Google Play. So that's the outer box. Let's get it open and see what we get. Now we get a quick start guide, as you can see here, telling us how to do it. And we get the box itself. Now you can tell this is the top because it's got all the writing on it. That's got a bit of bottom, so we open it this way. Nice, firm, good plastic case, which looks like it's going to last a while. So inside here, this is the sender unit, what uh, talks to your app via Bluetooth. This is what they call the sanding pen. So this has got Henry paper on there. And we need to clean these things up. I'll show you them in a minute. And you can buy new strips of these. So that's a sanding pen. These are the test strips themselves. So you can see one side of the strip is steel and the other side is copper and we use a sanding strip to clean these but I'll show you that in a minute. On the front of every uh, pack of strips, whatever they're called, test strips, you can see there is a code and a QR code. So with the QR code you can uh, automatically register these with your app or you can put this code in because every a pack of strips you need to register with the app and they come in tens and fifties I think or twenties anyway I'll put down at the bottom how many they come in so you'll need to buy these so these need to be used every time we do a test one per test then we've got two little plastic cups this is where your water samples go in and so you don't get them mixed up. There's a little radiator on the front of that one for your heating sample. And on this one, there is a little tap symbol. So that's going to be where you put your town's mains water because you need to put the town's mains water from the job where you're actually doing the installation or the service or the check-in because the system will be filled with the water from the town's mains in that property. Now also in the lid there's a little place here to put your cups and to do the test. So if you cause any spillages it's going to go into your lid 
and not onto the customer's worktops or carpet or whatever. Quite a handy little thing. Now that's what you get in this um, little set. So let's get on with the test. Now, first job as always is to take a water sample before we drain it down. So I have got my turbidity tube. Let's see what water we've got in here. So I just need to fill it up to the line. Looking a bit cloudy, so we'll need to leave it to settle a bit. Very cloudy. So we'll leave that to settle for a bit and then we'll see what it's like. But it's not looking too good. <laughs> so always take your sample first, then drain it down, and then we can see what chemicals it had in before and whether we need to do power flush, magna cleansing on chemical cleans and all the rest of it. But this looks like it's probably just gonna need a flush through with cold water because it is clearing up. So now it's settled a little bit, you can see it is a little bit of a yellow colour, which is normally an indication of inhibitor. So if we look down the turbidity tube, we can see it's clear and it's a yellow colour. So that's a good sign. We just need to test the water now and see what's in it. Now, first thing we need to do is fill these cups up with samples of water. So this is our central heating water we've taken from the job, from out of the turbidity tube. So I'm just going to fill it up. Right up to the top. This is for our tap water. Now I have taken a sample of the water from the job. I'm just gonna use this bottle. So this is the tap water from the job. There you go, they're f now full. So we're just going to put those two on side for a minute. Next we need to take out one of the test strips and clean it. So we need to get our little sander and we need to make sure we get this steel cleaned up. It doesn't matter if you go over here or clean these little co uh, connectors up, it's, it's not going to damage it. So you need to clean this really well, the best you can. The actual app will tell you if you've cleaned it enough. We're now going to flick it over and clean the copper side. So we can actually just flick that over and use the other side. And again, we can clean those connectors if we want to. So hopefully that's clean enough. The reason for cleaning them is so they make a reaction to each other within the solution. So that's how it's going to test it. So let's uh, open the app. Let's go start new test. It says we've got a pack of 10. We've already added the code so we can press OK. Now you don't even need to put the location of where you're doing the test because it uses GPS off your phone to be able to do it. But if you do need to amend the address, you can just press on this little icon here and you can amend it. We now can see it says new system boiler service visit or diagnostic problem solving. So our job was actually this water sample is the test before we installed a new boiler. So we need to click that first one. Okay, so this is our first test. We would obviously put new inhibitor in and retest again. Next thing we need to do is take the sender unit and the probe and place it into the sender unit and it should start sending a signal. So you see it's flashing blue. 
via Bluetooth to the app. Now the sender unit is actually battery operated. There's a battery compartment here. And it even shows you on the app there that whether the battery is fully charged or not. So that's where the battery is stored there. So if I press start, it's now found it. So I need to stick it into the water sample. And you can see it's gone into the blue here. So that means I've actually cleaned it good enough. If it was in the red, it wouldn't do it. So it's sending a good signal over to the app. It's going to count down for, uh, was it a minute or 30 seconds? So you now can see that that's taken a base measurement. It now says dry the probe and then insert it into the heating system water. So just going to shake that off. That's all you need to do and then place it into the heating water and press start. We're now seeing if this has got any inhibitor in it and it's counting down for four minutes and we're looking for that needle there to go round to the green section to tell us how much inhibitor we've got. It's also going to give us a graph here to see how much we've got in it. So we've got to wait four minutes now and see whether this needle gets into the green or not. Now this app will also tell you if you've got cleaner in the system or you've got a lot of flux. So it's not just checking inhibitor, it's checking other chemicals also. So now you can see it's automatically told me it's failed. There is not enough inhibitor in there. Now there is some inhibitor in there and that's why there isn't any corrosion in the system. But it's saying it's not enough. It says no corrosion protection found, add the inhibitor but obviously it's a new system so we're draining the system and we've got to fill it up so once we've done now the installation we can then fill it back up and we can put some inhibitor in it and then we can take another sample and we can see what it says on the next test press ok so you can see it's given us the full test results all the information of everything there and what we've got so we could then send that off to our customer. We can then press this button here and then this allows us then to WhatsApp it, email it or text it over to our customers. So if we press done, we're now ready to do the other test. So that's how easy it is to do this test.